few quick remarks on uh, artistry and performativity more broadly. In a secular society, um, where there is no transcendent high, highest to aspire to, um, hero worship of various forms fill that void. One of them, the one I'm most susceptible to as somebody who doesn't really care about sportsmanship and that whole arena, is uh, the cult of the artist, of the genius. Um, and people aspire to create something artistically to, you know, validate their suffering in that way and signal the richness of their inner life. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know if there's going to be a roast or like some tips for, uh, for all my young hens out there who want to get into creative expression. But, um, I mean, 90% at least of everything that's produced is completely whack. And that's just what it is. Um, especially people doing, you know, superficial imitations. A lot of, you know, trend chasing. And, you know, you have a, an idea of profoundness. <laughs> without any actual substance, which is, you know, the dictionary definition of pretentiousness. To make the real good stuff, it has to flow from an, a source within you. Um, and obviously it's a performance. I mean, it's not... Um, you are choosing what to put out there. Um, and, and thus, you know, as a performing artist, you do develop a persona, but to many of us, it is painfully clear if your persona is like an, uh, a natural outgrowth of uh, your actual person. Well, I'd pers person and persona is probably too close to each other for use like that. Of your actual being, um, persona being a mask, but you know, a mask actually signifying something. Or if you're just trying to... Uh, Trying to be something you're not. And with the hero worship, it's kind of hard to avoid, especially as a, as a teenager and a young person. Um, I think Nietzsche's idea of jealousy as a virtue can be um, useful here, where in his critique of, um, you know, the completely useless Christianity of his, um, his time, in the Louvre in Germany. Um, you know, you weren't supposed to feel jealous or, you know, envy other people's abilities and stuff. Um, but he said that, you know, the jealousy is something in you that is calling something forth. You know, there's something in that person, the way that they do something that I want to do. So you can extrapolate from that and not go completely, you know, I want to wear that skin. <laughs> but, um, but, you know, actually find out what, what speaks to me. Why is this interesting? Why is this something I want to imitate? You know, and go down into those primal things, and not the superficiality of it that uh, spoke to you at first, because it hit you, you know, under your rationalizing mind. Um... Yeah, but actually find out, you know, what it is and then go on your own life journey to these deeper sources and drink of that water yourself. And then it can become like an organic work of art flowing out of you. And also the idea of the singular genius, um, you know, in the entire cult of art. It's very much, you know, how could anyone, you know, the, the thundering intellect and intuition working together in concert, symphony of creation. <laughs> um, 
saw a very good uh, clip with Brian Eno, where he was on a panel, um, where he talked about, you know, everybody talks about genius, but he wanted to introduce the term seniors, where, you know, the scene. Um, to produce a genius, you need ideas and a lot of people, you know, exchanging ideas and, you know, this whole bed of creativity out of which, you know, great artists can arise. Um, so it's not, you know, you in a vacuum, but more, you know, the artist as, um, as a conduit, you know, picking it up on something in the air, using your sensitivity as a blessing instead of the curse that, you know, you are too sensitive to live in a, in a world, uh, of violence and, um, soullessness and assimilation but you could actually use that sensitivity as your strength so yeah um very unstructured ramble from me here today uh, maybe uh, some of you will pick up on something here and if not uh, i hope you can enjoy the bird song and uh, the greenery around here